Lahore, Karachi, Islamabad. For three days, protesters brought cities across Pakistan to a halt, blocking highways, forcing schools and businesses to shut down, all leading to the suspension of mobile networks. Tens of thousands poured onto the streets, calling for the reversal of the Supreme Court's acquittal in the Asia Bibi blasphemy case. But what is the case all about? Asia Bibi, a Christian farm labourer, has spent the last eight years on death row. She was accused of defaming Prophet Muhammad by a group of Muslim women after a fight reportedly broke out over their refusal to drink water from a cup she had drunk from. Asia Bibi denied the accusation, saying the woman, along with the local cleric, had fabricated the charges. In 2010, a municipal court convicted her of committing blasphemy and sentenced her to death by hanging. Over the next few years, Asia Bibi's case continued to polarize the country. Minorities Minister Shahbaz Bhatti and former Punjab Governor Salman Tasir were assassinated for defending Asia Bibi and advocating for reforms in Pakistan's blasphemy laws. Tasir's assassin, his bodyguard Mumtaz Qadri, was executed in 2016. But the execution turned him into a martyr. Qadri's supporters dedicated a shrine to him and his actions inspired the foundation of the Tehriki La Beg Party. In October 2018, the Supreme Court acquitted Asia Bibi. This was followed by TLP-led protests that only stopped after the government struck a deal to bar Asia Bibi from leaving the country, allowing the protesters to appeal the Supreme Court verdict. But why has the blasphemy law been so controversial in Pakistan? Insulting any religion was criminalized by British rulers in the 19th century. The law remained in place even after Pakistan gained independence and several clauses were added by President Ziaul Haq in the 1980s, including introducing the death penalty for insulting Prophet Muhammad. Since 1987, 633 Muslims, 494 Ahmadis, 187 Christians and 21 Hindus have been accused of blasphemy. Not a single person has been executed in Pakistan for it. But in the last 30 years, at least 69 people have lost their lives, mostly because mobs have taken the law into their own hands, beating, shooting or burning people accused of blasphemy. Rights groups say the law is being used to settle personal scores and target minorities. In 2017, journalism student Mashal Khan was lynched to death by his classmates over a blasphemy allegation. An investigation found he was innocent, and the lynching was a premeditated murder by student bodies and the university management after he had criticised the university. 77 countries around the world have blasphemy laws, including seven in Europe. But Pakistan's Supreme Court has acknowledged that the laws are problematic because the majority of the blasphemy cases in the country are based on false accusations. So if the law is being misused, why has it not been amended? Some political parties have tried to pass bills that would amend the law, but the bills have always been withdrawn due to pressure from hardline religious groups. Prime Minister Imran Khan pledged his support for the blasphemy laws during his recent election campaign, and he has now conceded to protesters' demands that Asia Bibi should not be allowed to leave the country. Is the government acting decisively enough? Could this result in another case of street justice?